Hello everyone to the Craig Vinyl community. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, if you love classic record, classic rock, classic vinyl, that type of thing, then uh, you've come to the right place. Just hit the subscribe gut, <laughs> hit the su subscribe button, and um, and um, see some fantastic vinyl coming through. Uh, so, I'm um, basically with this video here. I'm going to show I don't know 20 or so LPs I've picked up recently. I've got a bit to catch up on. So uh, this is one of these catch-up videos, so I won't spend too much time going on each record. Um, just merely show you what I've been getting. And I've got another Elvis vinyl finds coming up too. So awesome. So let's get straight into it. Um, I may have shown this one already, so I'm just catching up. Um, Billy Joel, Songs in the Attic. Um, yeah, I've been picking up a fair amount of Billy Joel, so uh, getting through it all. Uh, this is around, I think, 1980. Uh, I think this is previous to that, was Billy Joel's Street Life Serenade. Unfortunately, this one looks like the rats have been at it uh, down here, so I'll have to get an upgrade copy soon. Uh, the Nylon Curtain, Billy Joel. And uh, Allentown, Laura, Pressure, that type of stuff on here. So a few more Billy Joel. Okay, I said this is a real mix here, so I don't know what's coming up next in the pile, so hang on to your seats. Um, okay, this is a, a mid-80s, good old Richard Marks here. Uh, his biggest hit would be uh, uh, Right Here Waiting, which he sat on the piano and played, so Richard Marks, Right Here Waiting, kind of reminds me of a uh, rat at school camp and um, a girl I liked at the time. Uh, there was another guy on the scene, and um, I remember he was actually a good piano player, and he actually played that song uh, right here waiting. And um, after he did that, I had I knew I'd lost the girl. Uh, so um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, all good. Uh, Muddy Waters, more real folk blues. This is fantastic. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really hanging out to get more stuff like this. I really don't have much. I really love this sort of music. Um, my favourite one here is probably uh, track six on side two, Honeybee. And some fantastic information there uh, to talk about um, muddy waters and talking about blues in general. Uh, there's something here I read before that uh, stuff like, yeah, this it says, this is not a flawless album. The recordings are scratchy and primitive. The sound, though clear, seems centuries away from anything made in a modern studio. But you don't need eight foot amps and triple tracking to appreciate the blues. What you need is a sort of freedom of attitude, an ability to ignore numbers and words and concentrate on sounds and feeling. That's the blues. <laughs> uh, Boston. Pleased to have this. I'm sort of been getting into a bit of Boston and Sticks and Journey, that type of stuff from the 70s. So collecting a bit of that. And uh, on this one, side one, tracks one and two are the... They're the most popular, uh, more than a feeling of peace of mind. Great, good feel, good rock. Uh, Ravi Shankar, Trans Migration Macabre. Fantastic music, fantastic. A uh, bit of water damage across the back, but you know when you got a chance to pick up some ra Ravi Shankar, I'm, I'm going to do it. So I um, absolutely love this, love this music. Uh, how do you describe? I'm not sure what year this is. Uh, this is 73. So I'm not sure if any out there has got much of Ravi Shankar, what they think. or uh, I think when I picked up that, I got this as well. Country Joe and the Fish Vanguard. I just love that cover. It's just uh, psychedelic. Uh, was it late 60s? So, um, I, you know, I haven't... Yeah, I know that name very well, very familiar with Country Joe and the Fish. I, I think they're at Woodstock in 69. Um, but honestly, I haven't checked out their music, so something you've got to have in the collection. As I said, we're going random here, so <laughs> cocktail soundtrack. There's a bunch of good stuff. Just reminds me of good times of, you know, I was in the ninth grade, I think, when that came out. So um, just a good fun record. Uh, Police and Data Mondata. Again, I can't remember if I've shown this. I think I have. Most VC people have this in their collection. I've only just just got it. Love the music. Love it. 
Uh, comedy records. Do you have any comedy records in your collection? Um, I don't until recently. Uh, outside of Australia, I'm not sure if this guy's known at all. Rodney Rue. I think this is his second album. Yeah, the sort of record you put on when you're about you know, 10, 11, 12 years old and you don't want your mum to know that you're listening to it, just a lot of uh, swearing and jokes about the anatomy and, and, and people and stuff. So it was there. I had it. Took it. Uh, Jethro Tull, Wall Child. Probably should do a Jethro Tull separate video. I've got, uh, I might have about 10 albums now of Jethro Tull. And uh, I don't know all their names, but the lead dude who plays the the pipes or flutes, flute or whatever uh, it's called, he's actually touring Australia soon. Um, yeah, so that's, I think that's early next year. So um, I haven't checked out a lot of their music. Very keen to, I've heard some of it. Very interesting music. That doesn't, you know, it doesn't, Drag me and pull me in totally, but I can certainly appreciate what they're about and what music they've created. So I've got lots of more listening to do there. Uh, Go Go's Vacation, my first Go Go's album. Uh, I'm not familiar. I think Vacation is probably one of their biggest hits, but it's okay. I'm not in love with it, but yeah, it's good to have. Uh, History of the Hollies. So it's probably about. Uh, 18 songs on here. If you have a quick look, all classics. Uh, most of it's recorded. Most of their good stuff on here is recorded between looks like 64 and 67 was their prime. So you know, just drop the needle anywhere in that record. It's going to be good stuff. Uh, probably 88, 89. We'll just show the Go Go's before. He's Belinda Carlisle doing a solo album, Heaven on Earth. Uh, in Australia, she had about four big hits on this album. Okay, just small records coming out of that, that time, like the Richard Marks I just showed, that um, stuff I listened to as a teenager, so it's just good to have that stuff. Uh, I think I've got a copy of this already, but Hart, anything by Hart, I mean, Ann Wilson's vocals, I mean, you, you just can't beat that. One of the best rock voices. In the 80s, or even late 70s. Uh, Hall and Oates, Rock and Roll Soul, Part 1. There's some greatest hits there. Uh, it's good memories for me, you know, in the 80s as a 10, 12 year old here, and that sort of, a lot of their music dominated the radio here in Australia. Okay, in the wake of the Poseidon, King Crimson, my first King Crimson record. Again, I don't don't know a lot about these guys at all. I mean, this is a fantastic looking cover. Beautiful artwork. Uh, on the page over here, uh, their they're lyrics. Not a lot of songs on the record, but probably long songs. But the lyrics I was reading before, it was just fantastic. It's just well written, so I can't wait to, um, to listen, give that a really good listen. Uh, lastly in this batch, uh, John Cougar, American Fool. I think this is John Cougar's first studio album. Uh, Hurt So Good, Jack and Diane, etc. On there. So, um, gotta love John Cougar. Gotta love him. So, I think, um, yeah, for his first six albums, I've almost got them all now. So, anyway, thanks, guys. A uh, bit of a rush through there. I hope you enjoyed some of them. Um, let me know in the comments which one was your favourite record. Uh, do you know much about King Crimson? Uh, what else was I asking? I'm sure there was something else. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, look forward to your comments. Uh, yeah, which ones would you like? Um, as I said, I'm going to do an Alice video now coming up. So for you Alice fans, I know, you know who you are. There's a few of you out there. I've got some more to show. So. All right, enjoy your day, your evening, whatever you're up to. It's actually pretty cold here today. It's, it's you know We're getting late in the spring, but it's actually really cold. So I'll just keep making videos. It's the only way to do it. Okay, cheers out. See ya.